So, uh, we continue with an actual debate. So yeah. it is wonderful. It's actual in two ways. Uh, one is that there uh, now the Democrats are actually disagreeing about real policy issues and bringing out uh, differences between one another unabashedly so. The other reason it's a real debate is because unlike the Republicans, they're actually stating policy positions. Yes. yes. And having some more than others. Right. And having a real discussion over it, whereas the Republicans are like, me make country good, you make bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I bomb more than you, right? That's We're not real policy. Here's this is what a policy God discussion. Thinks. Yeah. Yeah. We're a good country, they're a bad country, we want to stay a good country, so we go after the bad country. Make country <laughs> good again. Right. So now, in this case, we're talking about Glass-Steagall, we're talking about single payer, and what does that mean? Does that get rid of Medicare, as Hillary Clinton implied, or does it expand Medicare, as Bernie Sanders implied? Well, in this case, just factually, Bernie Sanders is right, Hillary Clinton is wrong. It's like her at least her third cheap shot of the night, right? Yeah. Saying that it gets rid of Medicare and Medicaid when in fact it expands it, right? Yeah. And the other cheap shots were 9-11, uh, uh, don't leave my precious banks alone. David Sorota has some great tweets about that uh, live during the debate. He pointed out that her top five donors are all banks, okay? And that when she got paid $200,000 as speech, at least twice from Goldman Sachs, she said that uh, that people were being unfair and unjust to the banks <laughs> when they were criticizing them. Yeah, okay? but the, the reason that the only reason that they're the top five uh, donors to her campaign is because they're incredibly powerful and rich and well connected because they support the types of politicians who will make sure that they stay powerful and well connected. <laughs> that's exactly. Oh wait, right. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. And, and the third chief shot was when she said, "Oh, you know, sixty percent when." Question about money in politics. She gets most of the money in politics, not just among the Democrats, but she gets uh, more than the Republicans do, right? And the big banks love and support her in that way. Top five donors, as we said. She said, "Oh, 60% of my donors are women." No, uh, no, no. What does no, that wait, have wait, to do with anything? No. First of all, it has nothing to do with anything. Second of all, 60% of your small donors are women, right? But you, it's not 60% of the money that comes into your campaign. The bulk of the money comes from the banks and other companies. The small amount comes from real men and women, and of those, 60% are women. So that's a misleading, cheap uh, political game to play. So she's been doing that all night. Look, at the same time, her style and her rhetoric have been strong. She's commanding the room. Mm -hmm. She's not backing down. She's charging forward. She's accusing the other candidates of doing things wrong. So stylistically, she's still in the hunt here in, in terms of yeah. winning the debate. Uh, because we know all the policy, so we know she's not telling the truth about Medicare. But for the people sitting at home, they might be like, "Wow, she's kind of strong." But I thankfully, like her. he responded immediately to it yeah. and pointed right. out what yeah. he's doing. Yeah, right. exactly. Like yeah. she was so misleading on his stance on um, the Affordable Care Act. So I, I love that he stood up for himself. Yeah. yeah so uh, look, I, I can't wait to see how they're going to spin this and what the real numbers are going to be. I mean, I think Bernie Sanders landed some incredible body blows here. O'Malley jumped in. They clearly painted her as the one getting all the money and being corrupted by it. Yeah. I think it's effective. I think that's the number one issue that Americans care about. I know it because it's in the polling. 80% of Republicans, 83% of Democrats saying the money is corrupting politics. Point blank. Nothing yeah. a, a, subtle about it. She's the one getting all the money. Now, will the mainstream media, who then gets it from her in the form of TV ads, turn around and say, Hillary clearly won the debate? Right. Likely. By the way, I want to do a quick comparison between this and the uh, Republican debate. Trump will talk about money in politics and how he's not receiving any campaign donations, but he doesn't plan on doing anything about money in yeah. politics. Whereas in this he, case, Bernie definitely wants to do something. He's, about he's it. also lying because 50% of the spending is from donations, just not to a super PAC. Right. He's still receiving donations.